Definitely one of the biggest achievements was becoming head chef at such a young age, um, 23. I think that for me was, that was the turning point of my career. That was where I was going to progress or not. And then the other things were like cooking for Prince Charles, getting on the Great British Menu, which was absolutely fantastic. You know, I was, I was lucky enough to be the first female to ever win it. And um, for me, to go and compete in, a, in an arena like that against some of the you know, best chefs in the country was just, um, was daunting, was scary, um, but it was, um, you know, it was a great privilege to be able to share a kitchen with some of the mighties of the, of the, the in industry, basically. I like creating childhood secrets and different things that might have um, memories and stuff like that and try and turn in those flavours into dishes. I think a big part of my food is the fact that, you know, I'm a Lancastrian girl, basically. You know, I come from uh, Morecambe, Lancaster, which is not far away from here. So it is my roots. And I think we're very luck lucky to be in this area because of um, how much local produce we've got. People rearing, you know, making cheese, growing vegetables, and we have a great contact with that. And we also look back at a lot of things in the uh, Lancastrian heritage of what's made in this area and how we can turn it into a into a dish, you know, a fine dining dish with our influence and style on it, really. Um, so I'd say it's a big part of me. For me, when you're running a kitchen, um, and from an early age of when I took over, it was the fact that that was probably the turning point of becoming a mentor, it was the fact that you're teaching people underneath you, you know, you've got younger people that are, are looking for advice, um, you know, um, initiative and, and guidance, really, and I think that's where you have to, you know, teach yourself as well as be learning things to be able to teach other people. So that was probably the turning point for me. But as you go move on further in your career, and obviously you advance, and um, you know the technical ability, and obviously the culinary experience changes. You know, the biggest thing for me about being a mentor is inspiring people. You know, like I was inspired at a young age by, you know, David and, and Nigel and different people that had that philosophy. It's kind of want to be where they were to be able to say that people can turn around and say, well, you know, I learnt from her or I got some great experience of the philosophy of the food that I use at North Coast. That's the kind of thing that, to me, is a, is a mentor. Everyone will come in and they'll know the basics, but it's about teaching them what they can learn here at North Coast, what they can learn off, you know, yourself as an individual um, and take that techniques and, and build from it. I think everyone has dreams and aspirations and stuff like that. But for me, I just want to, you know, you know, cook amazing food, uh, be somewhere that I can inspire people, be a great mentor, um, and be one of those that, you know, when they come through the doors, Mr. Allen's food's amazing. So I think, you know, for me, about the next level is, um, is, is keep doing what we're doing and trying to, you know, get to the next level, basically.